Ram, all praise is going on to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Yahweh Kakudash, which is to say all praise to the Most High in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, um, who in the world stubbornly, ignorantly calls Jesus, okay? But Kakudash means Holy Spirit. Double honesty, the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Honorable mention to you, brothers, prophesying in truth, sincerity, diligence, and the hopes of being uh, saved. Peace to the elect. All right. Based off what's been going on uh, through the spirit, uh, uh, the apostles and uh, elder brothers, like, you know, making videos about the, the point. Uh, the, uh, the fact is, like, look, with the times being at hand, we need to be on fire for this word, man. You got guys scoffing, uh, scoffing the work of the Lord. Which is uh, which increases, which gives us a a, a higher chance of being saved, man. Because the scriptures in um, Second Ezra now get that. It says they that shall be uh, shall basically escape by their faith and their works, man. All right, so this is uh, look, you already got the paraphrase from me. All right, so. You believe in the Lord. What is you doing to, to, to show that belief, man? All right, Khan. This is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So that's our hope, man. That's what we want to be. We want to be. We want to be those men that the Lord sanctified from the from the foundations of the world, man. Before the earth was even formed, man. That this is that select number that's gonna go through the through the trials and the fiery furnace and gonna come out. That's gonna be purified, man. That's what we want to be. So that faith, which is that belief, and when you believe something, it prompts you to act. And what's the actions? The works, man. The scriptures say, uh, not the scriptures, so like you. But the, the old proverbial saying goes, actions speak louder than words. If we say we love Yahweh Shai, hey, what did Yahweh Shai say? If you love me, keep my commandments, number one. What is the second thing you say? If you love me, feed my lambs, man. So how can you scoff doing the work of the Lord, man? Do the videos. We go out on the highways and byways once a week. But we doing these videos all throughout the week, man. So we reaching people... Uh, uh, electronically, we reaching people directly. You know, we uh, we uh, we ministering. If the spirit hop on us in public, like the apostle Gabbai did a video, he was uh, he was ministering to uh, to guys at the store, man. Because why? Uh, the scripture says uh, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. You got Trump and China having a trade war. All right, those are two big um, two big so-called superpowers, man. So how, I, what type of effects would that have, man? All right? So, uh, it's like, yeah, I know it's in, um, why do I want to think Romans 13 and 11? Kind. This is Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time, you first of all, you got to measure the time diligently. I just got through watching, um, the, uh, a big bro, uh, Zion video from GMS Great Waters. He quoted that second of just nine to one. All right. Measure the time diligently. How do you measure the time? You see how the prophecies correlate with the actions you see before you. OK. That's why the scripture says watch as well as pray. You got to know what the hell going on, man. And read. It says Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So these prophecies come in the past rapidly, man. And salvation right around the corner. The scripture says, look, when this happened, that happened. That happened, this happened. All right? It's for an appointed time, as Habakkuk said, man. All right? It's for an appointed time. And we're living in those days. It ain't it ain't none of that, oh, oh my children, great-grandchildren, I'm be dead and gone. No. The time is now, man. All right? So it's, it's, it's more to the effect of, like, hey, don't fall. Hey, this is uh, Sirach. I'm going to get this scripture. This is Sirach 14 and 2. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes, known as Sirach, 
14, verse 2. It says, blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord, man. So uh, the scriptures in 2 Ezra, the 16th chapter, uh, reading on down towards the end of the, of the chapter, it says, hey, let not your uh, sins weigh you down. And let not your iniquities lift themselves, lift up themselves, roughly paraphrasing. So don't be all condemned and pricked in your mind, man. Oh, the Lord ain't dealing with me. I'm not good enough. Pray and fight, man. The scripture says uh, these these demons go not out without fasting and praying, man. So you got to, uh, depending on the situation, you have to add fasting to that prayer. You don't want to you don't want to fall from your hope in the Lord because the world does not have hope. And before we found this truth, we didn't have hope, man. What the what the you hope to get fucking a, a raise at work? Oh, you want to work? Oh, you want to make fifteen dollars an hour? What what type of hope is that? You want to drive a a a, a, a up to date car? All these types of bullshit ass vain ass hopes. The scripture in Peter said, seeing that all these things be, will be dissolved, man. Okay, it says uh, so like you, because hope these people don't have hope, man. Hope is a hope is a hell of a thing, man. All right, it says, uh, "Without hope, paraphrase the scripture." It says, uh, "Ephesians, kind Ephesians, two. I'm going to start eleven. Remember, wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles, so that shit over with, man." All that old niggerism, uh, niggerdom, we let that shit go. The scriptures say in time past, acting all heathenish and shit in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Verse 12, that at that time you were without uh, Mashiach, it says Christ, that it's supposed to be Mashiach. Yeah, the scripture says, how can they believe, uh, uh, how can they believe unless the preacher is sent, man? And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, being on our apostles and elders, on down with the with the men, going out there, you know, preaching the word in truth and sincerity and diligence. And then the Lord opening up our minds to receive it through YouTube, man. All right. It says, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants. All right. Because we weren't aware of uh of the goodness that the Lord had to us. We thought we was Gentiles. We was Gentiles in the in the in the through our actions, but we thought that the the so-called um Jew, the the Edomite that called himself a Jew, was the people of the Lord, man. All right, it says being aliens from the Commonwealth from Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the Most High in the world, man. We was out there through no fucking hope, man. Not understanding the, 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 the kingdom of heaven and what the Lord had prepared for us. And the vengeance, man. The scripture says, wait upon me to I rise, rise up to the prey, man. Not knowing that we was going to eventually get revenge on our oppressors, man. All right? Verse 13, it says, but now in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Mashiach. So we hoping to be covered under under that 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 sacrifice of our of our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. So we got to be thus minded. The scripture speaks about uh continue in the things which thou hast learned, being assured of whom thou hast learned from, man. Their faith followed them, man. You can't say nothing. You can't say nothing negative about our apostles and elders and the men of Great Millstone. Cuz first of all, the scripture says examine thyself that thou beest in the face, faith, Salakia. And it says, keep watch over the flock. So before you can even fucking get on us, we already getting on ourselves. It says, verse 13, but now in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Mashiach, for he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of parti partition between us, man. Because we've been called to a lively hope, man. Let me get that real quick, in Peters. All right, we're gonna go into that word uh, lively, man. Hope is just a uh, so like your First Peter one and three. It says, "Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope." What do we got for lively? 
to live, breathe, be among the living, not lifeless, not dead. Yeah, to be active, man. To be to be on fire. All right, pushing the, pushing the truth. All right, and um and and and, and edification, man. Edifying. The scripture said, Yahweh Shai told Peter, if you love me, feed my lambs, man. And we ain't feeding no goddamn GMO, man. We feeding, we we feeding, uh, Lord willing through the Spirit, alkaline water, non-GMO, uh, posts, all right, fruits and vegetables, lamb and goat. We ain't feeding no bullshit ass swine and duck and shrimp and a bump and, and fucking gator soup, all right? It says to enjoy real life, to have true life and worthy of the name. Damn, this is heavy, all right? Because uh, like the, uh, the Apostle Kabbalah mentioned earlier in his, his live show, he said, this ain't living, man. We want to live. So we, we we trying to enter into that life that Yahweh Shai got prepared, all right, for the elect, for the elect men, all right, and the women that will be saved on that first go round, man. It says active. Actions speak louder than words, man. Says blessed, endless in the kingdom of the most high to live life in the manner of living and acting of mortals of character, living water. The scripture says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's John the seventh chapter, verse 38, I believe. All right. So all, all throughout Yahweh Shai, when you read the scripture about Yahweh Shai, he was always working. What did he what did he tell his parents when he was just coming of age? Must ye not know I, I must be about my father's business? We want the Most High to be accounted as our Father, like Yahweh Shai said. Uh, roughly paraphrasing, him, him, him that received me, my Father will love. We want to be loved and received by the by the Most High Creator, man. You okay? It says, uh, uh, "Living water having vital power in itself and exerting the same upon the soul, metaphorically, to be in full vigor, to be fresh, strong, efficient. We got to be efficient. We got to be proficient." All right. Uh, as adjective, active, power, efficacious. I don't know what that means. A primary verb to live. All right. So we've been begotten to a um unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach from the dead. These people ain't got no fucking hope. Um, uh, the average person' biggest dream is 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 basically to be recognized by masses of people that they important. That they somebody. That's why everybody want to be a goddamn rapper. Or some type of way where they are acknowledged. By, the, by, by a whole bunch of mindless idiots, man. I want to be... Niggas, these niggas don't even want to be anything. I want to be famous. What the fuck do that mean? You can be infamous, nigga. And that's a lot of people going to be infamous, man. A lot of Israelites going to be infamous. Like these is... And, and, and the men of the Lord going to be famous, man. These the niggas that rejected the Lord. These the ones that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna end it on that. All right. This is Second Esther, uh, chapter two. Let me see. I'm start. Uh, uh, I'll start at uh, Second Esther, chapter two. Man, this is heavy. Uh, 35. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. And we doing that, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we must do it in sincerity and truth and in diligence. Because the scripture talks about giving all diligence to make your calling of election sure. So how the fuck you going to scoff three videos a week, let alone three videos a uh, three videos a day? All right. If it's in your power, the Lord knoweth who I see, who I hear is, man. He knoweth the ability of every man because he endowed it to him. Everybody got their own portion, man. You got to you like the apostle uh, Rakab stated. In this recent video, not too long ago, man, you got to read things in the spirit. They're spiritually discerned. First Corinthians, second chapter, man. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Well, do what you can, when you can, to the best of your ability, man. All right. It says, uh, 
Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom. And that's what we want. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Because it's only it's a, it's, a, it's a particular number that the Lord got set that's going to get it, man. The 144,000 men in the elect. All right. Which is all which uh, and the one third, which consists of the elect, man. OK. Which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received the glorious garments of the Lord. The scripture says, uh, blessed is he that keepeth his garment, man. The garment represents righteousness, man. So we got to hold on to this, man. It says, take thy number, O Sion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Uh, Daniel 12, many shall be uh, made white, meaning uh, morally pure, man. 41, the number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Because that's what the well, that's that's what's important, man. The world is rating on the elect, man, the chosen. Okay? Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I cannot number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. See, all of them. All of them praised the Lord with songs, man. This truth is the song, man. All right. Give you an example. All of them going to be praising the Lord, man, according to the to their part. All right. We all singing in unison. This one might have a, a, a five second solo. The other one might have a 10 second solo. This one might not have a solo at all, but he's still singing. All right. It says. Uh, and in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So we want to be crowned by Yahweh Shai himself, man. So I asked Andrew, said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing, meaning this bullshit ass flesh. I want a good car. I want a better job. Or I want a decent house. Yeah. One and we we want those things to 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 better help brothers, to better uh execute the truth better, but that but but these motherfuckers in the world without hope, that's all they look for. Okay, it says uh and put on the immortal. We putting on righteousness because we want the kingdom of heaven. We want to walk through streets of gold. We don't have to. We don't want to worry about uh whether our children gonna be safe. Got to worry about pedophiles, you know, and all that wickedness. It says, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and received palms. So we got to wait until until this day, man. It ain't no, okay, uh, I've been in the truth 20 years, boom. No, man. You got to keep going, man. It says, uh, strive for the truth until death, and the Lord will fight for thee. So until we dead and or, and or we, in, we in the kingdom of heaven or being up on the chariots, the fight ain't over with, man. All right, round a hundred and fucking fifty. It says, uh, Salakia, verse 46. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is them that crowned them and give them paws in their hand? He, so he answered, said to me, It is the son of the most high. Yeah, I was shy, whom they have confessed in the world. And that's what we're doing when we do these videos. All right, when we out there on the highways and byways prophesying. All right. When we ministering, if the spirit hop on us in our daily life, man. Okay. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then we get our fame, man. Then we'll be famous forever. Them, 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 those are they that stood with all they might for the Lord, man. That's a, that's a great thing. All right. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people a man of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy God thou hast seen. All right, with that, all praise to you. How about Shem Shai? Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. Shalom to the hopeful elect.